You can't say that. You... Dead women should be bigger. <laughs> Hello and welcome oh. to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Blake from Blake Goes Face oh. and Ben from Nolan TCG. The mic should be working this week. Yeah. Was it not working last week? It, it was. Gets, it was pretty messy. <laughs> oh no. Like the podcasty version that went out was fine, but the uh, audio visual version, uh, not ideal. Transitional technology. Uh, in case of emergency, clap sync. Uh, yes, double, double, five just, seconds apart is always ideal. We could have fixed it. The only problem was we didn't have a clap sync. <laughs> now we have a clap sync, so we can fix it. I surely, see, if I was on the podcast, you could just go to where I inevitably slammed the table and use it as a clap sync. Or when, you, or when you bird cacore at the start. Yeah, no, I didn't have any uh, today. That's not a great clap sync point, you know? Anyway, how was our week in New Year? Let's start with Blake. Uh, I did some stuff with Leo. And then I... Man's been grinding. Yeah, dude. Man has been grinding. Uh, if I watch another tier mirror, I think I, <laughs> I'm going to be in tears. <laughs> I... It is a crime. It is... It's the worst thing. I don't know that I can name a worse thing. Not about Yu-Gi-Oh! Just in general. It's pretty bad. It's just... I don't know. I, f- I find them engaging. Like, I don't win a lot of them, to be fair. But I... I know. I have fun. Jake also thought that we wanted Clay was engaging. Yeah, he also huh? thought Engage was engaging, and look how that no, went. No, I didn't. He did. At no point did I think that card was Nah, good. you liked it. No. Don't lie, to, don't lie to the audience. You liked it. There is history of me yeah, saying, fuck is. that card. Yeah, there is. <laughs> what a stupid card. Um, and I actually did just some random Master Duel stuff again, because I got the cards back, boys. I got cards back. They gave me my Buster Dragon and they gave me my... my oh, da- yeah. My XYZ. Oh, so you have been doing ABC Therion? Yeah. Uh, I tried some wind-up stuff before that, and... Didn't go well? It's not great, boys! <laughs> I need Hunter! Turns out, you really need Hunter, because the deck does 57 different actions, and, none and of them you don't go anywhere. None of them do anything or stop anything. No. Except to get in a beard. <laughs> yes! You are playing get in a beard, do the best part is you can get in your keep going, and still arrive nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, I can, I can, I can oh, oh, I guess shit. some people, that could be a threatening of itself. Like, you get in your and you'd, they're like, oh my god, just keep playing. It's, I can't win this. No, <laughs> just concede. That's it. <laughs> if we had Hunter, we would have a thing we could do, but mm. it, it's, ABC seem like the best way to, yeah. It's like the best fun deck I have right now. That's fair. Um, and then we got, is the new... Uh, is this part of the news? But did that the new ban list? The new ban list is in effect. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I haven't we, is it in effect? I thought it was like. Ah, don't worry. We'll talk about it in the news yeah. part. Oh wait, yeah. no. Yeah, sorry, no, it hasn't. Come yeah, because that that's yeah. also that gives me one more Buster Dragon. Yes, 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 it's doing its current yo-yo thing where it's back to three. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah. So uh, my time in Master Duel of late has been atrocious. Um, I went on to ladder yesterday for the first time in ages because I've been playing the theme, theme chronicle because mm. it was just free gems, but I ran out of free gems to do, so um, went back to ranked. I, uh, in the space of half an hour, dropped two ranks. Yes. <laughs> just that's, that's a lot a of combination of opening unplayable going second and opponent opening nuts. Um, so I put in chat yesterday that I was versing some like synchro combo with like Mecha Phantom Beast and whatnot, whatnot. Yep. So... I played through every single interruption that was on the board. I had Mo Yi and Ashanan in hand. I was like, okay, I've baited out everything and I've got enough to make a play. He had one card in hand. The card in hand was Effect Veiler. Yeah, man went, have everything. Also, literally everything. Like, yeah, I was so happy that I'd baited out everything on the board and literally had the one card in that that would effectively stop me. I was very upset. Um, so that was that. Um, and then yeah, in uh, physical card news, it every locals that I went to last week, I won. Oh no shit! All right. Yeah. So Monday was over at Grim. Uh, that was a three. I think we did three. Yeah, we did three rounds. One was a mirror, which I won. One was branded, which I believe I won as well. Well, if you yeah. won, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, I I'm just, I just, no, it was more the deck I could remember, more oh. less so the result. And then in the finals, I versed uh, Loz and Muse. Um, yes. Yeah, it turns out Dragoon isn't the threat that I thought it was. Nope. No. 
Um, so he negated the kick Carlos, I did the things, and I summoned Ru Carlos and Wallow, and he had 14 cards in his graveyard. So my Ru Carlos was 400 points bigger than Dragoon. It's the it's the uh, animation for I think he was. <laughs> and then just for flex flex points, I used Wallow to bring back his dragoon. <laughs> Fair enough. Made me very happy. Um, and then Dark Magician. Tuesday, I won. Also, I think I had a mirror in the midst of all that. Yeah, I think I versed Bragg in the midst of all that. Okay. And it was I can't remember who I versed in the final. I versed Cash Tier at one point. Um, this is pre support Cash Tier, so it's not ideal um but that also wasn't as bad as i thought it'd be yep um they did have an interesting play that i didn't realize they do but it kind of makes sense they make um the original mecha fan beast the rank seven yeah some of the two tokens oh and then uh, use those to make the oh. bujin oh the bujin link and then you bring oh, back the cute. one that you detached and the one that you've searched from fenry yeah and make an exist that's cute yeah that's, i that's thought that was really cool. i thought that was really yeah. cute yeah that's really cute i don't I particularly love the deck but that's kind of cool yeah, because, like, the way that he was playing through his hand, I was like, what does this end on? Like, you're going to end on one Xyz, and that's it. And even then, it's going to be like, Ugh. But, yeah, he went to Mecha Fan, and I'm like, what's this bitch doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that hasn't been banned yet due to the fact it summons tokens. But anyway. Yeah, well... It's hard yeah. to go into, I totally understand, but also tokens. Yeah. Right, true. yeah, like, rank 7 has never been, like, a particularly good thing. Like, what are you going to do? All right, Dark Magician, Dark Magicians? Yeah. yeah. Oh, hang on. Ebon Illusion Magician. Was. was the final you and me? No. Nah. No, we did verse, though, on Tuesday. Did right. we? I'm fairly confident we did. I don't know. Oh, it, no, we did. Yeah. Old men losing yeah, their minds. It didn't yep. go well for you. No, I bricked really badly. Yeah. Yeah. How'd you go, Locals? Uh, Locals, fine. I played Flanderies for the past couple of Locals. Woo! He was keeping it secret for the Orange Regionals. Yeah, it was just standard, fine, exactly as I expected. Weirdly, at local, something I realised when I was sat down and I was deck building, you know how I kept opening, like, multiple maps? Mm-hmm. I wasn't playing Terraforming. Oh. I was opening, like, two to three maps regularly and just as, wasn't as playing Terraforming. Off, yeah, and okay. when I was building my deck for the Regional, I was like, fuck, I've been seeing a lot of map. Oh, I'm not playing Terraforming. Oh, so I put terraforming in, <laughs> and you're like more map, and uh, yeah. So my locals were fine. Went away to Orange though. Uh, Bragg wanted to be on the podcast, but he's gone to D and D. He forgot that it was an hour earlier than expected. Uh, so we went to Orange. Uh, good time. We went with Kurt, uh, Luke, and Leonardo. Spoiler alert: Leonardo was the only one that topped. Um, my toy was fine. Like, started really well. Like first two rounds ran through easy wins. Um. Then round three was, I played Fox, bricked fucking atrociously game one, where like, I, so I win die roll and I'm like, ah, oh, I lost my last two die rolls, finally I win a die roll. Draw my five, my five cards and it's like, uh, evenly matched Dark Ruler, uh, Flunderies Trap, Continuous Spell, Street. And I'm like, oh, this doesn't do anything. Uh, set the Flunderies Trap pass. Because I'm like, if he like only puts 8k damage on board, I can maybe go like flip, summon Stree, not die, then evenly in the battle phase. Yeah. And he was like stressing fucking hard that I had Imperm in my hand. So once he added the Stree, I could just go Imperm evenly. Yeah. Uh, didn't have that, of course. So lost that game. Game two, story of my weekend for some reason in particular. Whenever I only saw one bird, it was Stree. Oh, it was the one that kept popping up. Yep, so, every yeah. time. Couldn't be Rabina, couldn't be. It's not, not the bird you want. No, it's no, not. It's like, no. Like, the amount of times... I two think cans, in, the one you want. In game two of that match, I open map, but also only open street. So I'm <laughs> like... So I can map and get the card, and then normal summon that on the second normal summon, and yeah. then play a little. Um... At that point, I'll just go for Zeus play, because, like, the other play wouldn't really get you anywhere. Well, I went first in that game. Like, in game two. Oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, both games, I only opened Street, and I was like, this sucks. Um, I, I, Street is interesting, too, because, like, I almost get punished by it, but I, because I'm me, I drew the shifter, and then, yeah. like, shifted them, and then played the Street to banish the shifter, and I could play. Yeah. But, like, if you can't put anything, it's just, it's just, just yep. it's as useful as Toucan is. Yep. Toucan's great though. <laughs> um, so that was that. 
And then eventually we get to my X2 drop moment. I'm playing against Medolce. Oh. And, like, I know really? my Medolce matchup pretty fucking well. So, things were going fine. I was well ahead in terms of card advantage and everything. And I'm like, yep, cool, game three. Uh, in game two, he normal summons the fucking one that searches a field spell and adds uh, Zombie World. And I was like, okay. Oh, that's cute. I activate the Zombie World. And I'm like, wait. What thing? There's a Medolce that just yeah. adds a field spell. Yeah. Any summon. field spell? Any field spell. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, it's like the butler. Hmm. Yeah, that kind adds, of fuck. Adds you. any field spell. I just assumed that it searched the Medolce spells. No, adds any field spell. Um, yeah, so that added Zombie World. He's like, cute. And I was like, yeah, that's cute. I can out it, but I don't know if I can out your entire board here. And I just couldn't. Like, I drew my, my next card and I was like, look, on math... If you just play competently, I, I lose this game. Then game three comes around, and I open God Hand. And I'm like, yep, here we go. So I'm on, like... Uh, oh, what's the card? Uh, continuous Spell, Field Spell, M-Pen, oh. Map. Uh, M, uh, sorry, no, M-Pen, uh, Barrier Statue, Trap Trick Set. And I'm like, this is really good. And my opponent draws for turn, and he's like, draw phase. I'm like, yep, cool. Stand by phase. And I'm like, thinking. You're good. I play Lightning Storm. I lose. Aww. And I was like, I literally just, for some reason, brain farted and just didn't activate the trap trick in standby to get to the, and then be able to activate it. What? Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, for some reason, I misremember. In no world was that, and then because he's playing against Vidolce, it's just game for me. Yeah, yeah, So, I lost. And I was out of the regional. And yeah. that guy topped. He was the only non, non-tier non player to top that regional. <laughs> and I felt really bad, and I was like, Ah, look. If I had just played semi-competently... Oh, so I just put Medolce in the spotlight as well. Keep Flandries away from yeah. Keep it away from the sky. what fucking Masterdoll did yeah. to it. Speaking <laughs> of Masterdoll, no, no, yeah. I wasn't finished. Uh, oh, it was a going. segue of dreams. No. All right, go for it. I'm at six six five six. Oh, yes. my king! Really? Yes. I'm at six five oh. six. Really nice guy. We, oh. we actually played round one. That, was, oh, that's it sick! It was a Flandries mirror. Oh, that's my guy. That's <laughs> my that's <laughs> my guy. It wasn't toxic in the slightest. No, no, no. It sounds it, very fun. It actually yeah. was. It was pretty bad because he he didn't open map yeah and we had, he had the continuous spell but didn't have map and I was like oh, I've got map and the continuous spell so I just win yeah um, you can't normal yeah it's, it's just rough in that matchup if you don't get to map you, yeah you ain't winning it's the same game. in the tier mirror whoever has Pellerino wins yeah same with most mirrors where they have good field spells if the person other person has the field spell odds on they're getting the second effect of that field spell and that's what wins the game but yeah, we can talk about Master now. Now we can talk about Master Duel. As, as okay. for Master Duel. Yes, so, uh, as uh, Blake alluded to before, we do have an upcoming Master Duel ban list, which will be coming into effect as of February 6th. So again, putting further credence to the fact that they're just going to do one of these every month. Um, some of them have been small. This one is not. Uh, this one's quite big. Uh, so, on bans... Sorry. I need to get this card. On bans... We have Union Carrier, which should have been banned a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Like, realistically, the only ones using that were ABC, which were fine. Like, that's kind of what they do. Yeah. And but... that Emancipators, which is not. Yeah, it just doesn't. It's not okay. This hits my FDK. Oh. Oh, no. That's anyway, uh, speaking of hits to Ben, uh, Totally Awesome is also banned. <laughs> yeah, that pissed me off quite a lot. Is this pre... It's a preemptive it's a pre hit because we're getting Sprite. Hit. Yeah. Um, so there's a pack, like a master pack that expires in the next couple of days. 18 so I, days away. Yeah. There's one sooner than that. There's 18 and then there's a more one month and 18 days. There's one pack that expires sooner than that. I checked it the other day. It was like, uh, it was like that shitty side set though. It was like the reprint set. The next like main pack expires in 18 days. Hmm. Well, we'll see how that goes. I feel like they wouldn't have done it quite so soon if that was... Well, we're getting Sprite. Yeah, Sprite is coming, uh, so Toad... No, Bradley, it's not anymore. <laughs> I'd like to think we're not getting Terrellement, given that we didn't see a preemptive Terrellement hit. I list. don't... Well, in fairness, uh, early Terrellement lists did run Toad. Okay, just bro. To, just to play Devil's Advocate okay. for just a tiny tiny while. Okay. Anyway, uh, Thank you, on. Konami HQ. <laughs> <laughs> Your logic is impeccable <laughs> as always. <laughs> Uh, moving on, we go to the semi-limits, because the OCG love a semi-limit. They do. Um, so, as a further fuck you to Flunder, Dimensional Shifter or two. <laughs> yeah, that deck's already dead. Oh, yeah. But people still try. Yeah, yeah, I played against it the other day, and I was like, oh, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there is that split second, you're like, oh, fucking Barry. Oh, wait, no. 
<laughs> no, it's not there. They could just play a different barrier statue too. No. Like, you'd have to play multiple of them, but you could. What? No. How do you normal it? Am I stupid? Is the, are they all... You get an additional normal summon. Oh, sure, right. So you need to not use the first one. And it's then... the same logic they had with Ecclesia before. You just use I your guess, additional yeah. summon on the other thing. Sure. Wait, but you can't search it. So you it. do I... map line. You can't which search is it. Yeah, no, you just have to hit it. Just well, open shut it. up. What are we talking about? I forgot. Barrier statues in general. Like you no. just play a different, you can play a different statue. one. Just play the Ecclesia. Yeah. Just play Nadir's into Ecclesia. Normally Ecclesia get punishment. Oddly enough though, no one's doing that either. They're just very adamant on doing bird things. Eh. It's the best kind of things to do. The other thing is too, like before they had the luxury of like being able to wait to flip their um, I get to normal again trap. Whereas now any time that I make an action, they're like, flip your trap! <laughs> trap! <laughs> What's up? Um, flip your shit face down. Yeah. Uh, we also have grass is greener to two. I went from three to two though. Yeah, it's kind of meaningless. It's not Again, the grass only... was at three. Yeah, that's yeah. a element hit. That's what they think a element hit is. Yes, it actually, absolutely, it's legitimately what they. Well, think the only decks currently is. using it are Shadol and Adam Emancipator. You could sixty card pilot it, no problem, right? Yep. Oh yeah, you just put like every good yeah graveyard thing in Shadol's, one deck. Yeah. element. Yeah. Brandon. Yeah. Lights on. Zombies. Yeah. Oh, wolf. they they definitely consider this a Trellman hit. Wolf. Yeah, and without Bestials, it's um, Bastals. A problem. Uh, we also have Infernity Launcher going to two. I think it was sure, bro. at one yeah. before. Yeah. Oh, Harry's in fucking ah oh, big up. Uh, there can only be one is going to two. There can okay. only be two. <laughs> <laughs> That's my hit for Runic. Oh no. Anyway. All right. Yeah. Um, Runic's weird. And then Conquistador going from one to two because sure, like just they just it, looked yeah. at Eldritch players, they were still adamant they were going to play it, so they're like, nah. fine. Uh, we also move on to no longer on the list. Uh, Salaman Great Gazelle going back to three. Why stupid? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, Danger Jackalope to three. Okay, it's not bad. So maybe not a hit to tier. It's a buff to tier. Yeah. Uh, Double Iris Magician going to three. Hey, my boy. Pendulum is just kind of good on Master Duel. I don't know why they're giving it more things. Uh, we have, weirdly enough, Pancratops to Lepankle. three. Pancratops, yeah. So bad. It's because we're getting Fenrir. Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, are we? Memories of Hope. Okay. Just what is throw the... a Numeron it, a bone. Yeah, oh. got limited for Numeron. <laughs> okay. Uh... Cursed Eldland, again, just giving Eldritch more tings. And Scapegoat. Even though they just took it away. Alright. Uh, okay. Tricksters? Anyway. Yeah, it's... Yeah. So, yeah, assuming combat. that Sprite is coming, which I feel like they wouldn't have needed to hit Toad otherwise, it's going to be a bit of a shake-up. No, this is a paleo hit, Jake. Although, I don't like the idea of Runic Sprite being legal so quickly. Yeah. I don't want it. Jake, they, that deck doesn't have a win con. And they have a three, uh, what, 30, 300 minutes, 300 second countdown timer? Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, like that deck all of a sudden is not an issue when there's no 40 minute timer in a match. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, yeah. it could, mixing it up a little bit. The deck seems to be bit. doing just fine without exactly. that kind of shit anyway. I mean, Man, we really did speak down. about laws and then he, like, throws me a snap. Like, 15 minutes ago so it would have been when we brought him up man's ears are burning stop playing a bad deck anyway <laughs> <laughs> what who said that it's the heart and soul of his content I can't believe you said that oh, um, so moving on to the physical card game we have a lot of news that has uh, been revealed about Photon Hypernova yes uh, so we have quite I, a few of the chat. cards known already uh, so we know four of the five Starlights. Uh, the one that was revealed to us by Konami on their little preview stream before the other content creators did their thing was Mirror Jade. The, yes. Uh, looks quite nice. Don't know if it was needed. No. I would have rather than just do another fucking sign of dragon. Beaver Warrior. I would have rather than do Beaver Warrior. How lit would a Beaver Warrior have been? It'd be so random. It'd be so good. Or Jerry Bean Man. What if they put Starlights in the reprint sets? And they do like Starlight, Mystical F, oh, Mystical F. Mystical F? If you pull it as opposed to the Starlight Blue Eyes, it is a Mystical F. 
There's that. Feral it's the one that takes away <laughs> Blue Eyes' attack in the show because it prays. Oh, uh, yes. That's a drink. What? You got a drink for that. Oh, yeah. No, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's not a rule like, of the game. You got a drink. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just don't mention um, elderly, older yeah. relative either, or that's also a drink. <laughs> oh, is it really? It is, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, the other ones that we know so far are the Cartesia fusion as well. Okay. Um, I think so far that's the closest we get to a woman starlight. And even then, the woman's about that big on the card art and there's a big gross dragon in the background. Um. Dragon's gross. <laughs> More women. You can't say that. You... Yeah, women should be bigger. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the cold open. You're a bitch. You are a bitch. I want you to know that. If you have watched to this point, no, Ben is either a bitch or... Fa yeah, fair enough. Uh, we also have uh, Kashira Rise Hard, the new rank 7 yeah, that yeah. is macro on legs. Love it. I hate it. Because uh, you just don't want it to exist. Um, it's also... It, doesn't it require, like, three material to just... Regulate yeah, but every it? time you banish face down, it gets to take one. No, but it requires three material to make unless you're just actually playing Kashira. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's fine. It, it isn't. Yeah. I don't. What are you going to make it in, Dick? Well, Kashira, that's the problem. Kashira. <laughs> Dark Magician. He'll try. Dark Magician got a macro. One of his viewers, um, he said he, that he, one of his viewers plays Kashira DM. I don't, I don't know how it goes. It's logical. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh, I remember what it it's is. like now. you don't actually summon Dark Magician on your turn, so you just go like, fucking Kashira thing, Kashira thing, normal rod, pass. Yeah, that's fair. It's weird. I'm not used to DM plays having any amount of IQ. <laughs> um, I can't remember the name of it, so I'm just looking it up. But we do know the fourth Starlight as of uh, not too long ago. Uh, Tri Brigade Arms. Yes. Uh, the link Busa five. Philos the th second. The fourth. What? Can't? The fifth. Second. That's eleven, Jake. It's not eleven. That's eleven. No, it's it's the second. You're a monkey. Do you not know what an 11 is? No. Do you not know two. Roman numerals? That's two. The Romans are dead, Jake. <laughs> that anyway, tickled me. Uh, but that that's... tickled me a little bit. <laughs> but that is the four starlights, so still one space uh, left to determine. Um, it's weird that they haven't what done any of the Galaxy oh. Eyes cards so far. Like, it could well be the fifth, but you would think with that type of archetype yeah. being given support they usually give them a starlight and we thought the galaxy eyes was just going to be the, the well yeah that was that was the other thing when they announced i would have preferred it <laughs> yeah it's it's weird number 38 starlight mm. that would have been nice yep it would have been kind of cool but anyway here Be we are. beaver here warrior beaver warrior jerry bean man uh we also have... can't do that um yeah uh <laughs> Sog you the dark clown. No, no, no. Make it realistic to the way regular Yu Gi Oh was back then, and in the sixth one, print Starlight Rare Mechanical Chaser. So whoever pulls the Starlight Rare Mechanical Chaser is just gonna fucking wreck everyone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we also know all 10 secret rares. Uh, we have Gravekeeper's Inscription, yeah. which is like a start of the thing you get to pick a thing that the opponent can't do in the graveyard. Um, we've got Galaxy Photon Dragon. Yeah. Uh, Gigantic Champion Sargus, which is actually just a really good Xyz. It, it's kind of good. Uh, the Arise Heart, uh, Kashtira Thesis, which mm. is an e for for Kashtira. Uh, Pressured Planet Wraithos, which is the Kashtira Field Spell. Oh, yep, yep. Uh, we've got Triple Tastic, Triple Tactics Thrusting. Thrust. I couldn't just not give it that name. Um, <laughs> Thrust. Waybridge, I don't know what it does. Um, it's a trap. Uh, it's yeah, it's matter. not very good. It's something to do with like your opponent has more cards. It's kind of like a, a shit evenly. Yeah. It's okay. Not that great. It's like if your opponent has more monsters than you do, they have to send it until they control the same amount. It's kind of yeah. it's kind of garbage. It's if they control two or more, they have to send until they control one. Okay, sure. Yeah. It's yeah. Also, it's shit. also send to graveyard, I think. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's worded, worded the same as evenly. It's like your opponent sends them, so yeah. towers and things Unaffected, are affected. baby. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got two of the new TCG archetype coming out in secret as well. Gold Pride Leon and Gold Pride, the crowd goes wild. 
Um, so yeah, it, it, it has been confirmed by a couple other sources too that it is a JoJo's reference, so you will need to buy it. Mm. Um, there are too many men in JoJo's though for Konami. Yeah, true. There is a woman Konami, in this archetype though. Konami um, doesn't like ripped dudes. Yeah. Um, but I think that deck's actually quite cute. With the whole mechanic of like, place a landmine, landmine go boom. It's also a cash tier out. Oh, cool. The issue is, token your opponent's yeah, so the issue is you have to have lower life points in your opponent to be able to activate the effect. Mm. Oh, that's fine. You can pay for stuff. Um, activate. Sparks. Skill drain. Oh, true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that'll, that'll, do that'll, that'll turn your monster effect on that you want to blow up the board with. That'll do it. <laughs> Isn't that, is, I thought it was the token generator that does that, or was the link monster that does that. I don't know, one of them. No, it's the level 8 main deck monster that the generates the token, and yep. then it's like quick effect, blow up everything next to the token. It's yeah. like playing Minefield. Yeah, Minefield? Yeah. Minesweeper. Yeah. Minefield. Minefield. Bang! Um, but yeah, like, it's... With another round of support, it might be okay, but the issue that I've found with most TCG archetypes is by the second load of support, they just decide to change the win con, and neither of the two loads of support work with each other all that well. Other than BA, in which case they created a six-year oh, some- dynasty, sometimes, which just never went away. Sometimes they go off. Sometimes <laughs> they're just like, they remember what they oh, did Cosmo. last time. They're like, oh, we should help that. Yeah, that Cosmo, is, they got Duck Destroyer. That is one of the few they're archetypes like where they were like, don't worry, guys, we also <laughs> gave you a synchro. And a fusion and a ritual. And I don't think one of those really sucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh yeah, the the uh the spectrum ritual. of Dante's. Yeah. Yeah. Uh I don't think I ever saw that ritual summoned once. Was I've it, seen it was summoned Beatrice... in cheese fucking decks. Hell yeah. So I'm assuming Beatrice then was the OCG support? Yes. Yes. Beatrice yeah. was the OCG. That makes sense. Because yep. it's the only uh, one that is Is a woman. <laughs> 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 wasn't so, where I was going but that same in Cosmo where they were like oh cool deck anyway he's one of the best cards in the game as extra support they were like ah oh, okay thanks actually did we ever get OCG support for Cosmo? Dark Planet yes. and uh, Eclipsa were they OCGs? they came way after so yeah. I'm just kind of guessing no I think Dark Lady Ooh, was with be. Strawman and oh, sorry Dark Lady was with Windcan <laughs> Wind okay. yeah. I like that I think. Oh. No, Dark Lady was in Shining Victories. What I don't else? really want to play that Wards format. I don't know why. What the one the, the blue eyes wards. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say yeah, the one that was just all blue eyes. Yeah. 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 So does Andrew. Yeah. yeah, Andrew's weirdly interested in alternate formats at the moment. He's also weirdly interested probably in Probably because he's eyes. normal summoned fifteen billion times in the last three months and he's probably a little bit bored. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean no? <laughs> You're like, wait, what? The party don't stop at Bird Corner. <laughs> the party don't start at Bird Corner because no one's allowed a special summon. <laughs> you can have a party with just normal summons. Yeah, and uh, discarding to the grave from hand. Um, normal summons are freaks, Jake. Yeah, they are. What did you just say to me? Oh. Moving on. <laughs> um, we know 14 of the Ultras. How many Ultras do we usually get? Is it 14? 47. That's not bad. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, two, two cash tier cards, um, the main deck rice heart and the tier elements cash tier um, and I'm just trying to find the important ones really because a lot of it's garbage. Um, two of the best cards in this set of commons. Oh, cool. Oh yeah, true. Um, yeah, the new bestial is common. No. Oh. And what was the one you were thinking of? The other, uh, the other tier element field spell. Yeah, the new tier element oh, field spell. Oh, no shit. So yeah little bit concerning that they've put those at low rarity. Yeah. Why? Because they're going to get it's kind of bra, 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 bra. busted. Yeah, that's fine. Jake, you, you keep shouting from the rooftop that the new Terrellment field spell is, bro- is broken. You, I, they so, don't play it in the OCG. Yeah, so here's the thing. I have it as being broken for a couple of reasons. And it's they kind of both bleed into the fact that there will be a ban list and the deck will get fucked over. So, if the field spell that is currently available is part of that ban list, then this is a decent alternative. But in that world, where that field spell is banned, is called Japan, and no one still plays that field spell. We're not the same. What key differences do you have between yourself and a Japanese person, Jake? You know exactly what I meant. Don't make this about race. <laughs> well, I'm not who said it was about race? I'm making about Yu-Gi-Oh skill. Yeah. You're saying OCG players are inherently worse? No. I think you we're are. We're different. 
No, you're saying that they're too stupid to understand this field spell. No. Yeah. Yeah. No, you are. That's not yeah. what I'm saying at all. all right. So you're their idea. Can we get hashtag Jake Okay, so here's the difference. Yeah. So they're using Cherubini to ditch uh, King of the Swamp to put it in grave oh. to replace Kid Carlos. The field spell does the same thing. Or you could just mill it. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't do that, you have a field spell. Yeah, but if you don't do that, you're just playing Terrellment. <laughs> We don't want to do that. Yeah. It's almost like you're playing a gambling deck. Yeah. I know. So I'm just trying to lower the variance of the gamble and you're like, no, that's bad. Just no. put shit in the bin and hope for the you best. Tier to... doesn't require any skill is the problem. That's rough. Yeah. It's gambling deck. It's gambling deck. Yeah. So it's... I think there is some skill. Like nah. it's literally, it's not just pulling the slot and, oh, I've won. Nah, yeah, it is. <laughs> it isn't. I'm just going to say yes. Fuck it. Yes. Mill the perfect cards, win the game. This coming from a Flunderies player is yeah. absolutely ridiculous. You're well, not gambling, see, but you're just locking out every mechanic. No, no, get. I'm gambling on exactly. drawing Shifter. No gamble. <laughs> That's my gamble. I draw Shifter. And then I pull the lever by throwing it to the grave when you activate anything. I don't know why I invite you on this podcast. Me, neither do a, I. It just becomes about birds. <laughs> no idea. The car. <laughs> uh, so this set comes out in just under two weeks, right? Wow. Let's see. It's like not this Thursday, the Thursday after. Okay. Hmm. Thinking Jake the, cons- the worst part is how expensive the cash tier stuff's going to be. Yes. Did you say 600 US? Oh, that's pre release price, so it'll yeah. probably change somewhat. But, like, the fact that there's, what, three secrets and two ultras. Yes. It's a bit obnoxious. Cash tier to relevant will be the only relevant ultra rare that's going to be expensive, though. Because to relevant players are also going to need it. Yes. It will be expensive. Expensive. Mm-hmm. Uh, two to three per bot per case. It's going to be a rather expensive card. I will probably see it beating out most secret rares. Mm. Yeah, it could legitimately be like a forty-five plus dollar secret rare, uh, ultra rare. Yep. Easily. We're talking Fenrir, baby. Market value analysis. Well, that was Fenrir's re- release price. It's now even more. Yes. Can and that is exactly what's going to happen when they start hitting to relevant cards. Because so then all of a sudden, Kashira to relevant becomes needed. Hmm. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Christmas ban list? Oh, we cannot wait till Christmas. Konami would be more than happy to make sweet to Christmas. Yeah. Would they? Such yep. tease. Because the thought I had is with them having printed cash in such a high rarity and it being they do print cash one of on only two debt. Shut up. Uh, one of the only two decks that really competes with tier element in the current meta. Yep. Do you see them just like taking a wax stick to Flunderies and tier element in the next list to basically force people onto the new set? Uh, there aren't I many don't... alternative decks to play though. That's we. Fall That's what I mean. If they shove them off that. There's we kind of have one good option. We f- we definitely fall into the trap of. You need to hit to relevant so dramatically hard, though. Mm-hmm. And I just don't see that happening in one ban list. Oh, they could, but they're not going to. Like, yeah. I've seen them nuke decks before, but they have to, mm. they have to like, bump it so that it's somewhat on the level of... Because I don't think they can put it under cash. If they do, then everyone just goes, Is well, what the fuck's the point of playing this pull? deck? Yeah, bye. But if you're playing to stop just cash, cash is easy to stop. It's cash is branded where if you're like this is the best deck I need to beat this deck yep. it is so fucking easy to beat. It's the issue of to relevant to stop to relevant you have to play significantly different cards to beating Kashira, mm-hmm. and okay. that is what would cause problems. So yeah, I so also the mirrors of both of those two things. For what we would need to murder to relevant would need to be the biggest ban list we've ever had. It would just need to, like, no. nuke so many cards. Like, to zero. I don't think it would be comparable to anything we've ever had before. It would have to, like, wipe half the deck off the fucking face of the earth. And yeah. go, alright, cool, have fun. For it to be dead in one list, I think you need to limit literally every single card that that deck uses in its main deck. And ban Kit Catalyst. Maybe also ban King of the Swamp. Yeah. I think you need to ban... A well, because, like, if, limit, they, if they hit it, it's just more of a splashable engine like yes. and then you move on with your life you yes. go cool i play a couple of those cards replace it with a couple other random engine things we move like i just had a brain thought 
That is typically where they go. Yes. It's for my fireman. No. Oh, Christ. He's still talking about this fucking deck. <laughs> he's, he's the firefighter that's going to the toast factory. Uh, Gotta yes. put it out. Gotta put it out. Need insurance for my firefighter deck. Mm-hmm. What about the... Maybe now I also need King of the Swamp. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What was that uh, old fire deck? The... What was that old fire deck? Nope. Okay. Um, so. Playing sword, salamander control. Next, Jake. What's yes, next? Yes. Uh, so we're going to move on to questions. Oh, we're out of news? Yeah, yeah let's do it. Well, all of it was in set news. Hazy Flame. Hazy Flame. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, so, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, ask us questions. Our first question this week comes to us from Crobat5. Crobat V. What up, boy? Uh, so, his question is, seeing how Konami over the last few months has printed some amazing decks uh, that have changed the format, will they unbang cards... Wait, did we do this question last week? I feel like we might have. No, we didn't. No, because it's the well, they unbanned cards. Because it's the twenty. Oh no, twenty second. We might have. What time was it? No, we'll finish the podcast by then, right? Yes. I don't know. I just, didn't get just far enough it. through. Read the question, Jake. Restart the question. Yeah. So, uh, seeing though Konami have printed uh, uh, over the last few months, printed some amazing decks uh, that have changed the format. Will they unban cards to make older decks that were format changing playable again? Yes. That I'm looking be- at you, Master Plan. That would be oh, very... Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 and now it literally does nothing. Does nothing. So I was like Jalgen. I'm like, okay. That right. Jalgen is still going to summon in the end phase. Yeah, okay. Like, eh. um, And you've had to play a bunch of spellbook cards, which are inherently not that great on advantage. Uh, I, but yeah, I, there's a lot of stuff that can come off. Will they do it? May? I hope so. Uh, I don't think they're too keen to bring anything back that doesn't actively generate the money unless they bring out, like, some support and then unban half, like, you know, some That's, of the cool stuff of the deck. And That would be the only way that they, in in their mindset, would be able to make it feasible is if they were more proactive with reprint sets, they could actually cash in on, hey, we're bringing back this particular Dragon Ruler for a format. Or a or new structure like, deck of some kind, and they're like, hey, we'll beef it up with... So, yeah, and I had this thought the other day. Instead of doing, like, these sort of half ass archetypes in the side sets, uh, they should just do reprints and retrains of new cards in those instead. We don't need more new shit at this point. And, like, other than main archetypes that people are going to play play, we don't need new shit. Especially when it's not that good. Like, if (laughs) they just sort of half ass it, like, Ogdotic was like one of those ones that like everyone was excited for because it had the potential and then just did nothing. It's so fucking bad. And I like tried to theorycraft the fuck out of that deck. I watched I, combo was... videos for days and then I took it to locals and I'm like, oh, this does nothing. It's just water so... good. Like, you're, it was like, yeah, this deck's fucking insane because I normal summoned Alistair and made Macabre. It was a lot of, now you can see why I was watching combo videos. I'm like, ooh, invoked. Um, yeah, so... There is definitely room that they can start bringing some stuff back, but they also can't go wild with that. Like, like, Master Plan. No, no. No, no don't, no. don't. Like, quite randomly, a lot of the ban list, though, is made up of just, like, individually broken cards. Oh, yeah. There's yeah, a lot, yeah. lot of archety- archetypal stuff that's banned. Like, the ratio of archetypal bans to busted solo card ban is not that off. Well, well, there's there's actually a fair bit of archetype stuff in it, but it wasn't used in the archetype. It's like yes. those cards themselves, like yes. they were for an archetype, but it was just cards that ended up being generic. Yeah. They just fucking bombed it. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, which like is every fair. link monster. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, nightmare goblin. Nightmare I want to make technically a part of an archetype. Didn't get used in the nightmare <laughs> archetype. No, because there was no restriction. Anyway, yeah. nightmare uh, goblin could come back. 
gobble these What did you just say? Not that goblin could come back. Oh, extra thought, normal summon. I thought he said grinder goblin for a second. I was like, not a fucking no. chance. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's wrong with not, not grinder goblin? No. He got banned for fucking firewall dragon. Oh. So you've got Akashic and security that do the same thing now. Yes. Do you not remember the combo? No, of course I don't. Okay. You went grinder golem, make Akashic bounce grinder golem, summon grinder golem, make security dragon bounce grinder golem, firewall dragon. Yeah, but I still don't think it can come back. I think it can come back. Bring it off! You are so very wrong. And while you're uh, at it, Maxi. <clears throat> no. Yeah. No. Fuck it. No, back, straight back to three. Yeah. Let's bring it back. Bring it back. Yeah. Bring I just want, back. yeah. One bring format. No. You brought Snatch Duel back for a format, you can bring this back. Yep. You can't compare those. And also, it was a format, and they re- immediately realised it was a terrible <laughs> yeah, mistake. Like, oh, shit. Terrible mistake. No, but that would make a but mistake. But now have a change of heart back. Yeah. Yeah. Snatch Duel can go back. Yeah. Sta- oh, absolutely. Um, Snatch Duel to one. Maxi to four. Yes. Maxi still to 40. Yeah. Only Maxi. Yep, you can play 40 copies of it. Yeah, but but you can only ever play 40 copies of it. Yep. If so you want to play it, it has to 40 be 40. or 0. Yep. So yes. it'll still be played at 0. <laughs> no, you, you can, can play 60 card decks and then... You have to play 40 Read the next scene. question, I beg. I'm going to need you to stop. So, next question comes to us from what looks to be a new listener, Smithy46. Well, big up, boy. What's uh, up? So, his question is, what's the best way to tell a stinky player they stink? Um, oh, I thought you meant just. He goes like, on to mention someone player. specifically. Can we call um, him out by name? <gasps> no, no, no. He doesn't say the name, but Sheet. he like just tells a story about it. We can do it. Smelly person. No, but we can do it. Tell a story, Jake. Story no, time with Jake. no, no, no. Wait. So, whoever submitted this question, give us the person, and we'll tell them they stink. <laughs> All right. We can do that for we'll sh- you. We'll shout them out of the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that for you. Don't <laughs> worry. And then send them the link and be like, "Holy shit, you got mentioned on this. I don't know why." <laughs> Yeah, we got you, don't worry. Um, Stinky players. Yeah, so... I don't know, I can't smell, so I, I don't know about stinky players, I'm sorry. It is a hard subject to breach, depending on the person as well. Like, some of them may understand, they may have just been going to the gym. Some of them just aren't aware that they are stank. Maybe you can accidentally drop the owner on the... Oh no! <laughs> oh no, I've... <laughs> I'm shuffling my cards. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the other thing is, there's rules against this now, right? Like, yes. you could also just, like, slightly tell like, a judge. You can't well, just yeah. tell a judge at locals. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, at an event, yeah. yeah. So calling someone definitely... out of their friends. Yeah, yeah, who would ever do that? Who us. Probably stink? Give it to us. <laughs> we'll do it. I want to do it. No repercussions. Are you going to make a thingy? I don't know. Right. What are you doing? He's origami. That's the verbiage of Jesus origami. Christ. Uh, next question to, to uh, comes to us again from Crobat5. Um, do you think Drytron decks will ever show their heads up and try to stand up to tier decks? No. No, uh, because they, Bestials mm-hmm. is a thing and Shufflers are a thing, so yeah, they don't just, do a thing. It's not good. It'll just all be gone. They it's won't be out. They can't function. Like, you think about the interaction. You go Drytron and Grave, Tribute, dry tr- oh, tribute, tribute fucking jammer. Uh, Ben 10 from hand. Oh, yeah. Shuffler put them both back. You've lost two key interactions. Yeah, it's like, oh, bye. Yeah. Where's it's your just, combo gone, dickhead? It like, does not work. Not at all. It would only work in theory if the Herald of Perfection build was still viable. Or if they had a Herald of the Orange Light. It's yeah. true. <laughs> both the things, both of which got abused in the OCG with fucking Tier Element anyway, because they were both using Herald of Orange Light and they are both using Eva. Here we are. It's, yeah, it just won't work. Uh, his next question is if Konami do decide to drop a nuke on tier in the next ban list do you think Labyrinth or Runic could take best deck spot no. with the next no. format or will it be a rogue deck format uh, no it'll be Cash Tira. yeah, yeah I was about to say <laughs> we've been over this yeah it'll be Cash Tira and then we'll like, have to deal with that it'll be Cash Tira decks playing hard counters to Cash Tira. and then well, those so, hard counter decks just playing against each other in top 8 so in yeah. that regard Labyrinth could be okay in that theoretical Labyrinth format. Labyrinth sucks, Jake. It's not terrible, but it's not Labyrinth amazing. Labyrinth is fucking horrible. Okay, here's my theory behind it. The biggest counter to Cash Tira is that it's just an Xyz archetype. That's all it does. Labyrinth predicate themselves on doing normal traps. So, D barrier. There's the problem the of the way Labyrinth fundamentally works is they only trigger when you activate a normal trap. Yes. Normal traps don't stop blowout cards. <laughs> 
counter trap stop blowout cards. Yeah, so you can just get nuked. Get a last dos. Uh, I guess. No, they're not generating advantage. But you can't you just go hit them with a different you can't go like warning chain um, multi faker. <laughs> well. Um, but yeah, that's a question for if and when we get a ban list, which I think will be sooner than Ben. Uh, so sooner than Ben? The, sooner than Ben thinks. Closer than Jake? I think March first. Yeah, why not? We've been over this last podcast. No, I right. think it's gonna be sooner than that. Oh, I'm right. You weren't right about Christmas. You won't be right about this. Next question is from Jesse. Uh, Wait, with am res- I wrong if it's after March first? Yeah, because you're saying it's on March first. But that makes you even more wrong. So I'm still happy. Yes. About being less wrong. That's life. Less wrong than Jake. Yeah. You're still wrong, and for someone who prides gonna, himself on always being correct, that is my incorrect. This week's episode. Less wrong than Jake. Less wrong than Jake. <laughs> anyway, Jesse's question is: With respect to the ban list, does banning all the tier fusions do enough to simply make tier a fusion engine, or is Draco plus Mud Dragon uh, plus Redoer still a good enough reason to play? What? What? So you ban Kit Carlos, Ru Carlos, sure, but Han. to to just make it a fusion engine. What does that mean? You just do fusion things and then link off the fusions. Kind of the stuff that they do in between summoning their own fusions. I guess. Like, it, it, like yes, the engine will still be with, played if you nuke both. If you fusions. mix it with a deck that actually still has a win con, yeah. um, then it'd be fine. Like, if you do Shadol tier elements, that could be viable. Should also have a win con? Yeah. Winda. Winda. Okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, it'll just become a splashable engine more so than anything. You won't, you know. You might not have the big the big tier fusions but they don't give a fuck the engine itself is so strong so Mm -hmm. it's just having no restrictions is is so good we'll get to that in a minute god damn okay is it because you saw your name mentioned no I just saw a fucking paragraph and a half and I was like well your name got mentioned so get excited are we having a fight (laughs) fight 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 I think you'll agree with it I want to call that no I call him out okay so penultimate question oh not actually penultimate yeah it's I know but why all right. Because we're not on to the big one All yet. All right. Oh, okay. Big one's coming so, last. Six yeah. I six has a conspiracy theory. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. So Konami has major sharehold in bug spray, which is why they don't have meal breaks in tourneys. This allows ants to invade the venue, and sales of bug spray increase. Where do you have your foil? Oh, okay. I don't keep my foil there. I went to look for foil. It didn't work. Uh, that yeah. makes a lot of sense. Uh, also, there will be no lunch break. Oh, did you know. get a lunch break? There was no lunch break this year in Orange. They started it, like, a lot later than last year. Oh. Did you get to Orange sleep in, or did you still have to be there at, like, fucking the same time and then just start late? No, it was, like, 11, 11 a.m. they started. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Although, Although it was, last year like, was, like, 35 10. degrees in Orange. Who is Jesse? Yeah, it was 35 degrees. Uh, it's not our Jesse. It's oh, a different God. Jesse. All right. Yes. Yeah, second time I made that joke. Anyway. Yeah. It's we'll about V, joke. but yeah. with Jesse. <laughs> so, Jesse's question is... With Konami making wild changes on the Master Duel ban list monthly, do you think we might see it as a testing ground for cards coming back off the list in relatively low-risk environment, uh, citing Pank to 3 as evidence, or do we think they respect it enough to treat it uh, with as much caution as they do the physical card game? Uh, As a non-Master Duel player, it appears they are just moving things around for the sake of it. Uh, Some of these recent lists have had some real Blake energy. (laughs) Just fuck around it's to find so, out. It's very fair. It's very so, fair. I think it's, that, that's an interesting like idea. I guess it's very much them. I don't think it's them testing for the physical card game at all. I think it's them trying to fix their previous mistakes from previous formats and like at the same time trying to like test and tweak and be like, I wonder what it would have been like if we had this. Yeah. Also, the TCG has no influence over this at all. It is all the OCG. They very much cater towards the OCG, and that's why they're addressing Sprite and not Tier Element. Um, but, yeah, like, they do have the benefit of hindsight when they're doing these kinds of lists in that, like, they're integrating cards as they see fit, but they're all cards that currently exist, so they know how they interact with certain things. So that's why we get a preemptive toe ban. So, like, oh, Sprite was fucked when it had toad, so yeah. let's address that. Yeah. I wonder... Um, how the shuffling mechanic for that game or the randomization mechanic is going to handle Tarelement. It That's super interesting because uh, the two other online card games don't do it very well at all. Yeah, Magic's fucking terrible it's for randomization. randomization. Uh, PTCGL is also atrocious. Mm. Uh, so that would be interesting. So, uh, depending on which conspiracy theory you subscribe to, um, if you're an OCG player, it'll go great for you. And if you're not, it won't. (laughs) (laughs) Correct. Yeah, fair. Correct. 
Uh, but that <laughs> does conclude our questions for this week uh, and therefore the podcast. Thank you all very much for watching and listening. Uh, feel free to favourite us on uh, Apple Podcasts and wherever you're listening. Uh, if you're on YouTube, like and subscribe. Jump into our Discord and we'll catch you all next week. Peace. Bye.